Welcome to Chile's Solar Dawn. In 2013, Sun Edison and CAP Group announced a joint venture to build Latin America's largest photovoltaic solar energy plant in the Atacama Desert. Atacama is the driest desert on Earth, with over 3,000 hours of sunlight per year. It is bound to the west by the Pacific Ocean and to the east by the Andes Mountains. The Atacama Desert covers an area of some 105,000 squared kilometers. The Atacama Desert also has one of the highest levels of solar radiation in the world. This is the location of the Atacama region, whose capital is Copiapó, situated 806 kilometers north of Chile's capital city, Santiago. According to international experts, Chile's potential for generating electricity from solar energy is equivalent to that of 40 nuclear power plants, making the South American country one of the world's most attractive areas for the solar energy sector. Chile also has some of the world's largest metallic mineral resources. Approximately 28% of the world's copper deposits are located in Chile, and there are also considerable iron, gold, and silver deposits. Amanecer Solar Cap Latin America's largest photovoltaic solar energy project. The project involves developing, financing, constructing, operating, and providing maintenance for a 100 megawatt solar plant with a substation that will elevate electrical voltage from 23 kilovolts to 220 kilovolts, a transmission line, and a switching substation for connection to the grid. Total investment in the project exceeds $250 million. The photovoltaic plant will cover an area of 250 hectares, and once completed, it will be capable to feed up to 100 megawatts into the central interconnected system, SEEK. This is the equivalent of 15% of CAP Group's total annual energy demand. The solar park is made up of more than 310,000 photovoltaic modules, which will be installed on structures equipped with one access trackers. The energy generated by the solar park will be carried by a 220 kilovolt transmission line over a distance of about nine kilometers. This energy will be fed into the SIC, the central interconnected system, through the Cardones substation. The plant, whose construction was completed in just six months, is based on Sun Edison technology. The plant uses over 310,000 Silvantis modules, which are made up of monocrystalline silicon, a non-toxic, non-polluting material that can be recycled at the end of its lifespan. The plant also employs solar trackers designed by Sun Edison, whose construction required more than 3,000 tons of galvanized steel, manufactured by Thintac, a subsidiary of Cap Group. Once completed, the project will be managed by Sun Edison's Renewable Operations Center, ROC. With operation centers in Belmont, United States, Madrid, Spain, and Chennai, India. The rocks provide 24-hour monitoring, diagnostics, and command services to photovoltaic installations around the globe. This project is implementing innovative solutions that will transform the solar energy industry. A positive effect for the environment is that, in its first year of operations, the plant will generate 270 gigawatt hours of clean energy. To generate that same amount of energy in a diesel-powered power station, you would need more than 71 million liters of fuel. Generating this amount of clean energy will avoid emitting over 135,000 tons of CO2 annually into the atmosphere, which would be the equivalent of the CO2 emissions of a conventional power plant for the same amount of energy. This is the equivalent of taking 30,000 automobiles off the road. In view of the great size and the special characteristics of Chile's Atacama Desert, this plant represents a significant and innovative way of taking advantage of the region's energy resources without creating a negative impact on the environment. This is fully in line with the guidelines established by the government of Chile, whose energy policies call for significant development of sustainable energy generating capacity. This emblematic project has been made possible by two innovative and visionary leaders in their respective industrial sectors. Sun Edison and Cap Group.
Over the last 12 months, Sun Edison has been one of the world's major producers of solar energy. As of June 30, 2014, Sun Edison had interconnected more than 1,500 megawatts of solar energy around the world. It is one of the few vertically integrated companies in the industry, manufacturing components from silicon to modules and managing projects all the way from the greenfield stage to power plant construction and long-term operation. Sun Edison's headquarters are in California, but the company is also present in over 20 countries around the world. Cap Group is the largest producer of iron ore and iron pellets on the Pacific coast of the Americas, as well as the largest steel producer in Chile and the leading steel processor in the southern cone of Latin America. Cap's expansion projects have been adopting sustainable practices and technologies because the company aims for growth that is fully in harmony with both the environment and local communities. An example of this is the new Cerro Negro Norte CNN mine located in the Atacama region. During the daylight hours, CNN will use part of the energy generated by the Amanacer solar cap and the operation will also rely 100% on desalinated seawater for its process water requirements. This project is another example of 21st century sustainable mining. Latin America's largest photovoltaic solar energy project.